in our corner of the world. We're singing, laughing, and having fun in our corner of the world. No trouble bothers us in our corner of the world. We hear the sound of violins in our corner of the world. We're dancing happy and free. The mountains are climbing, the rivers are winding, everything's fine. The sun, it whispers, whispers, I love you, let it shine. In our corner, in our corner. Of the la di da, la di da, la di da, la di da di da di da di da di da, la di da, la di da, la di da, la di da di da di da di da di da. Colorado Kids Create presents Albert Bierstadt. Do you know what a landscape is? Once upon a fleeting time, there lived a boy named Albert who sketched pictures with crayons. He did not know that one day a high mountain and a serene lake in Colorado would be named after him because of his majestic artwork. You see, Albert never stopped drawing and he learned to paint with oils developing into a very fine artist. Albert was born in 1830 and as a young man attended the Dusseldorf Academy in Germany. Then he moved to New York to learn a style of painting called luminism. This technique made the painting look like the lighting on the canvas is glowing. In 1859, people were flocking to Colorado in search of gold. It was called the Pikes Peak Gold Rush. The miners were nicknamed 59ers. Can you guess why? Where Albert lived to Colorado, people had to ride trains. The section of railroad from Leavenworth, Kansas to Denver, Colorado was called the Pikes Peak Express. From there, one traveled by stagecoach, horse, or on foot. Albert took his first trip out west during this time with his friend, Frederick Lander, who was exploring land to select more routes for the railroad. Perhaps at the end of the day of travel, they sat around a campfire and sang a popular song. Camp town ladies sing this song, do da, do da. Camp town racetracks five miles long, oh, a do da day. I come down here with my hat caved in, do da, do da. I go back home with a pocket full of tin. Oh, a do da day. Gonna run all night. Gonna run all day. I'll bet my money on a bobtail nag. Somebody bet on the bay. Albert didn't paint during his travels. Instead, he relied on sketches and photographs to refresh his memory upon returning to his studio in New York. He made as many as 50 sketches for a single painting. He used the studies for large scale paintings to show others the grandiose views of the mountains in the West. Albert even got to exhibit a few pieces of his artwork in London in front of Queen Victoria. One of his landscapes of the American West entitled The Rocky Mountains Lander's Peak was sold for $25,000 in 1865. Albert took many trips out west. During one of the visits, he hiked a 14er in the Mount Evans Wilderness area near Georgetown, Colorado. He was the first recorded hiker to summit the peak, which is now called Mount Bierstadt. At the age of 46, Albert was asked to make a canvas painting of Long's Peak in Estes Park, Colorado. He titled it White's Lake. 
Today, that lake is called Bierstadt Lake. Mr. Bierstadt loved art and persevered to greatness. See Mr. Bierstadt's work at the American Museum of Western Art, the Anschutz Collection in Denver. Learn more about Albert Bierstadt on Wikipedia. The end. Hello, my name is Tammy Johnson. I teach and live in Stratton, Colorado, and I'm here to bring you a wonderful drawing lesson. So let's get started. Hi guys, today we're gonna make this cute little train. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna start with is four rectangles. The first rectangle is gonna be a little bit away from the edge of the paper, and it's gonna be kind of sort of laying down. The long side's gonna be horizontal instead of vertical. Just like that, that's gonna be the nose of your train. The next rectangle we're gonna make is gonna be a vertical rectangle, which means it goes up and down and that's gonna be where your engineer would sit. Then we're going to leave a little bit of space and we're gonna draw another rectangle. This is gonna be a train car for passengers to ride in and I'm actually gonna draw a second train car Ooh, as well. <clears throat> and so on the top of the train there's usually like a roof to do the roof I'm gonna take just a little bit out I'm gonna go a little bit up and come around and make a nice long skinny rectangle for each of the sections of the roof For this part where our engineer would be, it usually has a nice big window, so I'm going to make a nice big rectangle window. And at the front of our train, we know there's going to be a smokestack. You know what? I could even draw... a billowing cloud of smoke coming out of my steam train. And usually the engine has a couple of bumps on top of it. In the front, we're going to make a little light. That way the train can see where it's going. Back here on the passenger cars, we're gonna add a couple of windows and I'm gonna make square windows. I'm gonna do two for each passenger car. And on the side of the passenger cars, I'm going to kind of sort of cut the rectangle in half. And I'm going to make like straight line designs down, which kind of gives that feel that they added extra design to the exterior of a car where people would ride. Right now, my three parts of my train are completely disconnected. Usually the connection of a train looks like a Y and you can start with a Y 
and then go around it and kind of make it like a blocky bubble letter. So that it still kind of looks like a Y, it's more blocky and it's got this opening right here because this part of the train would be like a circle almost hooked to a rectangle so that the two cars could hook together. I'm gonna make another blocky little Y right here. I don't leave very much space to draw my connector, but there we go. So we can see that it's connected as well. Over on the front of the train, I'm gonna add a triangle that goes just below the train. And I'm gonna add some vertical lines to give it some detail to look like that front grate that would be on a train. And then I'm gonna make a little rectangle that goes into about here. So now it's time to give my train some wheels. So I'm going to make one, two, actually I only wanna make three circles on the engine, so I'm gonna erase this one and move it back a little bit. I'm gonna make one, two, three. And I'm gonna try to make them about the same size. Then I'm gonna make one, two, one, two. Now inside the circles, there are some extra lines right now, so I'm just gonna erase those extra lines. so I can add some extra details to the wheels. Nope, I need to add, I need to erase some of these extra lines too that I forgot to erase. So the first detail I'm gonna add is another circle just inside the first circle. And that's going to kind of be the circle that rotates because the train moves with these like almost rectangle like arms. I feel like this wheel should be a little bit bigger so I'm going to erase it and make it a little bit bigger. So these rectangle like arms is what moves the train wheels on the tracks. So I'm going to start adding like the rectangle arms. And the best thing about these arms is that they move up and down and all sorts of places. So they can be at different angles, they can point up, they can point kind of down. They help the train, well actually they make the train move along the track to go chugga 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 chugga. I think my train is looking pretty good now and I'm gonna make him a train track 
that just kind of runs under the wheels. And then I'm going to make the partner track where the other wheels would be just kind of a little bit behind the train. So it's still there, but we don't see the other wheels. And now I think it's time to add some color to our train.
there you have a cute little red train. I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. Have an amazing day. Can't them ladies sing this song? Do da, do da. Can't them racetracks five miles long? Oh, do da day. I come down here with my hat caved in. Do da, do da. I go back home with a pocket full of tin. Oh, do da day. Gonna run all night. Gonna run all day. I'll bet my money on a bobtail nag. Somebody bet on the bay. Oh, the long tail filly and the big black horse. Do da, do da. Coming to the mud and they all cut across. Oh, do da day. Gonna run all night. Gonna run all day. I'll bet my money on a bobtail nag. Somebody bet on the bay. Colorado Kids Create, and you can too! In your corner of the world we hope You're singing, laughing, and having fun In your corner of the world we hope No trouble bothers you In your corner of the world we hope you heard the sounds of our guitars In your corner of the world we hope You're dancing happy and free The mountains are climbing, the rivers are winding Everything's fine The sun it whispers, whispers I love you Let it shine in your corner, in your corner of the la di da, la di da, la di da, la di da, di da, di da, di da, di da, la di da, la di da, la di da. Da di da di da di da di da di da. La di da, la di da, la di da. La di da di da di da di da di da. La di da, la di da, la di da. La di da di da di da di da di da. La di da, la di da, la di da. La di da di da di da di da di da.